Hey everybody, General Motors Jeff here, Jeff Hunter from Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And beside me is the 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. Let's go have a look. All right, so here it is, the 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. And if you're not familiar with what the AT4 model is in the Sierra lineup, it's basically sort of the off high-end off-road version. So you can have leather in the inside, and we're gonna get there in a minute. But as far as the outside's concerned, Right off the bat with the AT4, you're going to get a lot of paint match here, okay? So unlike an SLT or a Denali where you're going to have some chrome accents, the majority of this is paint matched with the black mirror caps, all right? Also, a factory two-inch lift. This is something that I love. It gives it a bit more ground clearance, gives it a bit meaner stance, obviously, and it's still giving you usable capabilities with the truck without it being too high off the ground. Also, right here, some awesome... Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires, which need to go, right? You need that aggressive tire to go with the uh, aggressive look of the truck or the sporty look of the truck, right? And then again, you're gonna get the red tow hooks down here as well. Again, adding to the appearance. LED headlights, LED daytime driving lights, and LED fog lights in this one. And underneath the hood of this one, it's one of the optional motors. 6.2 liter V8. We're talking 460, 460 foot-pound of torque and 420 horsepower underneath the hood. This thing will haul the mail and it'll haul whatever you need it to haul as well. All right, also that's gonna be made it to a 10 speed transmission. How about we head out back here and show you a few more things. Of course, we still have that awesome foot step in the bumper that GM's had for a few years now. And what they did in 2019 is made that a little bit bigger and that carries on to 2021. The awesome looking dual exhaust out here behind as well. All your trailering uh, connections back there. As you can see, we've got backup uh, rear, uh, rear park assist on this. A lot of safety features, safety alert seat in the inside as well. If any questions with that, let me know and I'll go over that with you. Again, on top of all this, the multi-pro tailgate. So of course you see it's power down tailgate, but again, it's a versatile tailgate. You can do it in a multitude of different ways. You probably saw at the start of the video. You can really play around with this. I love the capabilities of the multi-pro tailgate. The cool part, let me tell you this too, we're looking at an AT4, which is the higher trim level, right? You can always get it in the AT4, the Denali, the SLT. However, you're able to get it in some of this, the lower end packages for 2021, all right? So you can get the multiple tailgate, not having to get the AT4, Denali, or SLT. You got your power outlet back there, which has an inverter, so you can actually power something off it. There's your LED tail lights, tons of tie-down hooks, sliding rear window in this one, of course, because it is a loaded truck, right? So you're gonna get that sliding rear window, not to mention, you're gonna get a sunroof, which we'll show you when we get inside as well. Keyless entry on all the doors or the tailgate. As long as the key's in your pocket, you go up to the door, press on that button, it'll unlock and let you in, all right? Back here, look at that leather. Black leather with the Kalahari, they call it Kalahari trim. I really like that, it kind of gives it a different look, a different appeal, right? And some hidden storage areas back here, which I like, tons of room in this back seat, and you have the ability to lift up the seat 60-40 split with some extra storage. Not to mention, look at that, heated rear seats for your passengers in this AT4. Of course, you're getting heated seats in the front and cooled seats in the front as well, and some extra 
power outlets there, as you can see. Heading around the front, you're gonna have side blind zone alert. I don't know if you can really see it. It's right there. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Side blind zone alert, uh, lane departure, uh, lane departure warning. Tons of different features you're gonna have. Of course, all power seat adjustability. Bose stereo system, kind of a carbon fiber look there on the door. Uh, memory seats, which I, which I love. So the memory seats, by the way, they call it memory seats, but it also works with the exterior mirrors. By the way, those exterior mirrors are power. They can fold in, all right? Obviously power to adjust the visibility of them, but power fold in and fold out. So if you're parking on a road, garage, going through a car wash, whatever it is. All right, there's your modes. Toho mode is there. You can have some different modes here as well. Sport mode, normal, off-road, okay? You can adjust all that there. Auto track four-wheel drive with the four low, because again, with the, um, with the AT4 package, you're getting basically the X31 package, which if you're not familiar with that, that used to be the Z71 package, which is gonna give you underbody skid plates. So you'll get skid plates all the way there underneath. Higher intensity air cleaner underneath the hood there. Um, you're gonna get the low range because you don't get the low range unless you have the X31 package, which is automatically built into the AT4. Um, and you get hill descent control right there, as I mentioned as well. Okay, so that's some, and Rancho name band shocks. So you're gonna get the better shocks underneath in conjunction with the lift kit of this one. Electric parking brake, you have the heads up display. I love this, it doesn't, uh, I don't think you can really see it unfortunately, but basically what it does is it projects your speedometer or whatever you want uh, up on the screen in front of you. And it's actually, a, it works very well. It's not, uh, you think it'd be a little bit more, not annoying, but kind of in the way or uh, distracting, but it's actually not. All right, heated steering wheels there. There's your forward collision alert, uh, following distance indicator right there. Um, uh, this this here, by the way, controls the screen here in front of you. Okay, so you can get a bunch of information up here on the screen. All right. Um, over on the screen, eight-inch color touchscreen. What is cool about that eight-inch color touchscreen, by the way, is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, I know you've heard of that before. Right there, it is wireless now, though. So, being as the AT4 has wireless charging, I can set my phone on down here. Don't have to plug it in anywhere there, and I can also use all of my streaming services that I would normally get from the Apple CarPlay to Android Auto without connecting to the truck. Really cool feature, one that I really like. Trailer rate controller in this one, because of course it's set up all for trailering. Uh, there's your lane departure warning, lane keep assist, park assist, uh, auto stop start. If you don't want that, you can turn it off. So again, there's your auto stop right there. So when you're pulling up to a traffic light, the engine will actually shut off. This is in the 6.2, this works as well. The engine will shut off. And when you take your foot off the brake before it's back in the gas, it's already running again. Some of you don't like that, you have the ability, bam, right there to shut it off, okay? And speaking of that 6.2 underneath the hood, it's also got uh, something we, we, we brought out uh, two years ago now, it's called dynamic fuel management. So that will run on any number of cylinders. So unlike our older trucks where it run from eight cylinders to four in the active fuel management, dynamic fuel management underneath that hood will run in three cylinders, seven cylinders, two cylinders. So that's what makes this 6.2 very good on gas despite being you know a big horsepower truck, all right? Uh, there's the button for your power let out, power let out back. There's your hill descent control. Uh, obviously, that's the button for the tailgate in the back as well. Again, heads up. I get the, uh, this asked a lot. No, if you accidentally press that button, it will not drop the tailgate when you're doing 60 kilometers an hour down the road. It only works when you're in park. Okay. Um, let's head up here. That mirror. Why can't I see my camera in it? Because it is a camera, right? So there's your regular mirror. There we are. That is a rear view camera mirror. I love it because it shows you a much wider, wider field of view. You can adjust the, the brightness of it, um, how much it zooms in and out, as well as the height of it. So you can adjust it how you like it. Especially, especially important is that brightness at night so it's not uh, too, too bright. And there again is that sunroof that we have in here. Uh, separate climate control for the driver and passenger. As I mentioned, you have your heated and cooled seats, right? So this is a loaded truck, but the cool part is it's a loaded truck so you have the comfort and the looks of a loaded truck, we have the capabilities of any other work truck out there. This will pull like 9,200 pounds that we've got to set right now. That's not even with a max trailer package. Anyways, if you have any questions, as always, message me, call me, email me, 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. Gotta love it.